Kaya kaya burla nunuk. Hello, hello everyone. Ngan ciri ciri ngan wulaman balarong binja bajak nyunga. My nyunga name's Ciri Ciri. That's the woolly wagtail, and I'm a part of the wulaman the Balarong, the Binjarab and the Wajak clan groups. Wajak is the area that we're in today. And we're at the lovely Hartfield Park at the foot of the hills we call Karadamurunda. Karadamurunda in my family is, uh, Karada is hill, Kart is head, so I guess it can be translated to the highest point. Um, so Karada we call hill. Murun is dark, so it's known as the dark hills, and if you look at it from different angles, it's, it's got a different shade of grey, or it gets darker during different times of the day. Other families also know, know it as Karla Murunda, which is Karla is fire, and it's also known as the fiery hills as well, because lots of fires did happen during many parts of the year for burn-offs throughout this area. It's a very significant area. And being, you know, at the foot of the hills during one of the coldest times of the year, you've got access to lots of resources to keep you warm. There's lots of wood around here for fires. There's lots of windbreaks. You could, you know, make your Maya Myers, your, your homes really nice and warm. If it gets cold during the night, you know, before sundown, dig a hole, get the hot fire, put that in the bottom of the hole, cover it up with the soft sand and put your nice bookers and hides over top of that sand. And, That'll keep you warm in your Maya Myers as well. So lots of techniques was used during this time of the year. So I'd like to share with you a little story about my family history. It starts with a man in the early 1800s named Yelagonga. Yelagonga was the first recorded Nyunga to meet uh, Captain Sterling, who then became governor of Western Australia. Yelagonga had a granddaughter named Bolba. Bolbuck camped in this area during the wintry months and then made her way towards the coast through uh, Buralu, which is the name of Perth, and then out towards the coastal areas. And then as the weather's changed again, started to get cooler, then she made her way back this way again through Buralu. And she stopped every time she would stop at government house gardens and she was continuously kicked out of government house garden. She was arrested for trespassing, she was, she was put in jail. Uh, she had lots of friends at the time, so they would then you know, bail her out and continuously every year she would come through this area. And because she lived around the early 1800s um, to mid 1800s, she, on, her, on her path there'd be houses built and new houses coming up. So she'd walk straight through the front door, straight out the back door again, because it was her path that she and her family had taken for hundreds of generations. After she passed away, they found out that her grandmother was buried there. But this spot here, Hartfield Park, is where, it, it's a significant spot, and it's where one of the campgrounds that, that Bulbuck used. So I'd like to sing this song now. This is a, f a family song that my father taught me many years ago. It's a combination of uh, two songs, um, Jenning in Bo. Jenning in is looking, Bo is a long way. And that's the traveling song. And I'd like, I usually like to finish off that song with the Wardandi chant. So that's bringing two of them together. And traditionally, as I mentioned before, the Wajak Nyunga people, uh, some of the families that did camp here at this season during Chilba would leave and head towards the ocean. And this song represents those family groups that left this area, travelled through Wajak Buja or around the Swan River Plains, up towards Kings Park and then out towards the ocean. This is Jenningin Bowl. Jenning in bowl. Jenning in bowl. Jenning in bowl. Jenning in bowl. Ngala boje. Jenning in bowl. Nyonga boje. Jenning in bowl. Jenning in bowl. Jenning in bowl. Jenning in bo, jenning in bo, kada murne jenning in bo, ngala buja jenning in bo, jenning in bo, jenning in bo, brr, brr. Ah. 
Wardande, Wardande, and Cooling Wardande. Wardande, Wardande, and Cooling Wardande, Jenna Cooling Wardande, and Cooling Wardande. Wardande, Wardande, and Cooling Wardande. So that was a little family song that I'd love to share with you and I hope you've enjoyed it. So I'd like to play for you Kanyawarangin, which is a spirit talking, it's slow style on the didgeridoo, also known as Yuraki, and here we go.